Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about measuring factory efficiency in apparel industry. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin the presentation. Measuring factory efficiency. Major factors affecting factory efficiency. Measuring factory efficiency. Factory efficiency in manufacturing is a crucial issue that manufacturing houses struggle with. While the ultimate aim is always to keep the efficiency of production at its largest, it is not the easiest task. In case you are not measuring line efficiency and factory efficiency, the first step would be measuring the existing factory efficiency. Remember, what gets measured gets improved. If you are already measuring line efficiency and factory efficiency, your first step would be capturing off standard time, non-productive time, where your standard time is not being utilized. This data will show you where the improvement potential is lying. To measure and calculate the factory efficiency, you first need to calculate line-wise daily efficiency. Note you can calculate line efficiency based on the line output quantity. Data format for line efficiency calculation. Line number, number of operator, working hours, line output production, garment SAM, total minutes attended, total minutes produced, line efficiency. Another way of calculating line efficiency is calculating individual operators produced SAM and summing up to get total SAM produced by the line. Efficiency Efficiency is the comparison of what is actually produced or performed with what can be ideally achieved with the same consumption of resources, money, time, labor, etc. Efficiency equal to standard minutes earned divided by actual minutes attended or equal to achieved production divided by target production on actual time. Standard minutes earned equal to production achieved into standard time. Example, an operator worked for an 8-hour shift equal to 480 minutes. She lost 30 minutes for mission breakdown, 10 minutes for meeting and 20 minutes waiting for work. She produced 250 pieces during the shift. Standard time for the operation is 1.26 minutes per piece. Standard minutes earned equal to 250 into 1.26 equal to 315 minutes. Actual minutes attended equal to 480 minus 30 plus 10 plus 20 equal to 420 minutes. Therefore, efficiency equal to 315 divided by 420 into 100 equal to 75%. Achieved production equal to 250 pieces. Target production at 100% based on actual minutes attended equal to 420 divided by 1.26 equal to 333 pieces. Therefore, efficiency equal to 250 divided by 333 into 100 equal to 75%. Mission utilization. Mission utilization is the time when the mission is actually being utilized for the purpose of production. This is a simple measure to see how much time is being utilized at the mission and how much time is spent in handling or preparation for the mission. Mission utilization equal to actual running time divided by time available. Mission utilization may vary from style to style. Fabrics that require more handling will have lower mission utilization. Its level of automation, the type of production system, line layout, etc. Example, in style 1, operation 7 has a total SMV of 1.26 minutes out of which total mission time is 0 0.60 minutes. The operation produced 250 pieces per day. Time available equal to 480 minutes minus 20 minutes of mission downtime and 10 minutes of non-working time. Therefore, mission utilization equal to 0 0.60 into 
250 into 100 divided by 450 equal to 33.3 percent. Labor productivity. Labor productivity can be higher or lower depending on factors like availability of workload, material, working tools, availability of power, work efficiency, level of motivation, level of training, level of working condition, etc. Labor productivity can be measured in terms of hours or money. Labor productivity equal to total output divided by labor input. Labor productivity in terms of hours equal to total quantity produced divided by actual man hours required to produce that quantity. Labor productivity in terms of money equal to total cost of output produced divided by amount in terms of rupees spent on workers. The productivity of labor can be increased by increasing efficiency of labor and reducing labor time. The garment industry mostly measures labor productivity in terms of output per machine per operator. Key performance indicators Bar chart showing line wise efficiency KPI for factory level Man to machine ratio Line efficiency, factory efficiency Labor productivity Machine utilization Overall equipment effectiveness Individual operator efficiency SMV improvement Style change over time Cut to ship ratio On time delivery Quality performance DHU, RFT Actual cost versus target cost Worker absenteeism rate etc. This data shows key performance indicators related to various functions performed by the production staff. Management is able to use this data to provide reports, evaluate employee performance, set goals, recognize trends, project future metrics and much more. Major factors affecting factory efficiency An imbalanced production line If you are having assembly lines and workload are not balanced in a line between workers, some workers will not get enough work for the day and a few workers will have a pile of works. This situation causes the utilization of standard hours which in turn affect the line efficiency. Unmeasured loss time and no action on loss time reduction. The time when workers are not doing standard work and waste their time being idle is called as loss time. Many times in a day operator wait for work feeding, sometimes they wait for trims, operators wait for the line to set up, factory loses productive time that affects the factory's efficiency. Unskilled employees The production rate of a highly skilled worker is higher and unskilled operator works at a lower production rate compared to skilled employees. Secondly, unskilled operators make mistakes and produce defective pieces. Not using time-saving equipment, folders and attachment. This kind of time-saving tools can reduce operation cycle time and can help to improve the operator's efficiency. Demotivated workforce Production speed in the shop floor in a factory also depend on the worker's mood. Demotivated workers can reduce the factory's performance. Untimely payment and low wages may demotivate workers. Stitching quality issues When quality issue is there, the operator needs more explanation and training which in turn reduce the operator's production rate and cause efficiency fall of the given line. Secondly, if the garment quality is not made right the first time, there will be repair work, rejection and requirement of additional manpower. Wasting productive time during style changeover Excess waiting time for line setup during style changeover cause factory efficiency fall. This mostly happens when line supervisors, production and engineers are not proactive and not ready with manpower and machine allocation line layout, work aids and pilot run. Failing to monitor production. No monitoring of hourly production and not chasing the operator for target quantity and efficiency. 
employee absenteeism when some of the employees do not come to work it causes production loss creates an issue in the workflow if the workers leave or absenteeism is not planned it reduces line and factory efficiency machine breakdown and maintenance delay machine breakdown is a common fact it may happen but if the machine maintenance team take a longer time to resolve the machine issue line efficiency will fall the factory efficiency is one of the many business performance measuring tool in the manufacturing sector factory's growth and earning is directly linked with factory efficiency thank you for watching for more sessions like this do like and subscribe to my channel please comment your valuable thoughts and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when i post a new presentation bye have a good day